Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Deeper in the Word podcast. This is a daily scripture and commentary broadcast developed for Emmanuel Baptist Church in San Jose, California, and shared with everyone that wishes to join us in our study of God's Word. Today is Friday, January 26th. The weekly lesson is Yielded Faith. The scripture we're referencing is Luke 7, 1 through 10. When he had concluded saying all this to the people who were listening, he entered Capernaum. A centurion servant, who was highly valued by him, was sick and about to die. When the centurion heard about Jesus, he sent some Jewish elders to him, requesting him to come and save the life of his servant. When they reached Jesus, they pleaded with him earnestly, saying, He is worthy for you to grant this, because he loves our nation and has built us a synagogue. Jesus went with them, and when he was not far from the house, the centurion sent friends to tell him, Lord, don't trouble yourself, since I am not worthy to have you come under my roof. That is why I didn't even consider myself worthy to come to you, but say the word and my servant will be healed. For I too am a man placed under authority, having soldiers under my command. I say to this one, go, and he goes, and to another come, and he comes, and to my servant do this, and he does it. Jesus heard this and was amazed at him, and turning to the crowd following him, he said, I tell you, I have not found so great a faith, even in Israel. When those who had been sent returned to the house, they found the servant in good health. In this session, we defined faith as a belief with a predominant disposition of trust. But what is the object of our faith? How trustworthy is it? Can it produce what we hoped? For example, we believe money is important and trust that it will provide what we need to satisfy our wants and needs. But in times of economic instability, the value decreases, purchasing power declines, and sources of income may be lost. What we believed money would do fails. The trust we placed in it obviously proves to have been misplaced. The same may be said for other things we believe in and trust. Power, position, prominence, good deeds, and what we sometimes call good luck. These things will eventually let us down. Then we realize we need to believe and trust in something, someone that is worth more than anything, whose power, authority, and ability never fades, and who will never desert us. That is Jesus. He will never fail. If we know ourselves, we know our sin. We know that we are not worthy of being in Jesus' presence. At the same time, we put our faith in Jesus, trusting that his word has power, and that it is effective and transforming. We are to put all our trust in the word of our Christ, believing that he can grant life where there is death, that his words can create a new reality. Yield to him by yielding your faith in him. This weekend, ask yourselves these questions to help you dig even deeper. Recall a time when you turned and looked to Jesus for help in a stormy time of life. How did he respond? Think of some ways you have experienced the wonder-working power of Christ in your life. And do you think you have the kind of faith that brings pleasure to the Lord? Ask Him to help you strengthen your faith. Until next week, saints. And remember, every day is Sunday.